You're watching Major League Baseball's Virtual Network. I'm Nicholas Callis. These are your game recaps and standing updates from Saturday, April the 25th, 2020. Starting in the American League East, one of our games of the day as well here on Major League Baseball's Virtual Network. The Toronto Blue Jays beat the Baltimore Orioles by a score of 11-4. to The Blue Jays were able to win thanks in part to an eight-run fourth inning. That saw 11 batters come to the plate and saw RBIs from Derek Fisher, Lourdes Gurriel Jr., and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. John Means got the loss as the starting pitcher of the Orioles. He is now 0-3 in six starts. The Blue Jays are catching up to the Orioles in the ALE standings, and you'll see those in just a little bit. The Yankees and Indians played each other, and the Yankees won by a score of 1-0. The Yankees scored a run in the sixth inning on a solo home run, which was their only recorded hit in this game as well. The Indians, despite getting four hits, could not score a run, and the Indians also committed two errors as a team in this game. Luis Cesar got the win. He's 1-0. Zach Plezak got the loss, and Aroldis Chapman now has four saves on the season. Our other game of the day here on Major League Baseball's Virtual Network, the Tampa Bay Rays beat the Kansas City Royals by a score of 13-7. This game was also an offensive slugfest, so to speak. The game was going back and forth. Each team had its own offensive outbreaks, but you see there the Rays just put up twos everywhere, capped off with a four-run fourth inning. Uh, and they ended up winning 13-7. to Rays got 13 runs on 15 hits. The Royals, 7 runs on 8 hits. Jalen Beeks got the win. He is 4-0 on the season. Danny Duffy is now 2-2. Two two. He was the losing pitcher in this one. The Chicago White Sox lost to the Los Angeles Angels by a score of 6-5. to five. This game took 10 innings to complete. And it was also drawn to extras because the Angels came back and tied the game at five with a two-run bottom of the ninth inning and then walked it off the very next inning in extras. Each team got ten hits. The Angels just scored one more run than the White Sox did. Cam Bedrosian got the win out of the bullpen. Jace Fry gave up the walk-off hit, and he earned the loss. The Boston Red Sox beat the Minnesota Twins by a score of 3-2, to two, and the Red Sox have been very streaky this season, but a win against one of the top AL Central teams uh, could help it out. Red Sox scored three runs on 12 hits. The Twins two runs on eight hits. The Twins only scored in the fifth inning two runs. The Red Sox scored in the first, third, and ninth innings. Uh, And the Red Sox won thanks to that ninth inning run. Heath Hembry got the win. Tyler Duffy got the loss. And Brandon Workman now has six saves. Interleague play between the San Diego Padres and the Detroit Tigers saw the Padres win this one by a score of 5-1. to one. The Tigers could only score in the 8th inning. Padres got 5 runs on 12 hits. The Tigers 1 run despite 8 hits. Chris Paddock got the win and Jordan Zimmerman got the loss. Zimmerman now 1-4 and four as a member of the Tigers rotation. Mariners-Rangers played each other in an AL West matchup. The Mariners, despite getting more hits than the Rangers, lost. Thanks to the Rangers coming back and scoring two runs in the bottom of the ninth inning to walk it off. Nick Goody got the win out of the bullpen, and Matt McGill, who attempted the save, got the loss. More AL West baseball. This one between the Oakland Athletics and the Houston Astros. This game took extra innings to figure it out, but the Athletics certainly turned it on in the 11th and figured out how to hit. They scored four runs in the top of the 11th, and despite the Astros scoring a run in the bottom half of the inning, they could not come back at home, and they lost this one. Paul Blackburn now 2-0 and on the year. Brad Peacock evened out 2-2, two and two, and Liam Hendricks nine saves as the closer of the Athletics. Now on to the National League. This is a National League East game between the New York Mets and the Atlanta Braves. And the Mets continue to struggle this season. The Braves won by a score of 3-1. to one. Sean Newcomb got the win. Rick Porcello got the loss. And Grant Dayton earned himself a save, though he's not the closer of the Braves. The Dodgers and the Pirates played each other, and the Dodgers continue 
to take ownership of Pittsburgh. The Dodgers won the last series these two played in, and now coming to Pittsburgh, the Dodgers start out winning the first two games of this specific series. The Pirates, despite getting five hits, could not score any runs. Walker Buehler undefeated now. He is 5-0 and in the starting rotation of the Dodgers, and Joe Musgrove now 2-3 and after this loss. The Pirates are now on a 10-game losing streak, and you'll see they're in last place in the NL Central, but we'll go over standings in just a moment. The Diamondbacks and Reds played each other, and the Reds came out on top by a score of 5-1, to one, thanks to all five, be, uh, all five runs being scored in the bottom of the second inning. Luis Castillo got the win. He's 2-3. and three. Robbie Ray got the loss. He's now 4-2. and two. And Michael Lorenzen, he earned the save in this one, despite not being the closer of the team. Phillies and Cubs, they played each other, and the Cubs ended up winning by a score of 5-1. to one. Cubs got all their runs in the first five innings. The Phillies scored their only run in the top of the seventh inning and lost this one. John Lester got the winning decision, and Zach Wheeler now 1-2 and two in his first season with the Phillies. The Miami Marlins played the St. Louis Cardinals, and this game saw... Large amounts of offense. You see that the Marlins score, uh, scored five runs on 13 hits, and the Cardinals scored six runs on 12 hits. But even though the Marlins had more team hits, the Cardinals were able to produce more runs. You see a four-run fifth inning from the Cardinals and a two-run sixth inning. The Marlins scored in more innings but scored less runs than the Cardinals, and as obvious as this sounds, that's how the Cardinals were able to win. Dakota Hudson got the win, Sandy Alcantara got the loss, and Giovanni Gallegos earned his ninth save of the season. The Colorado Rockies, moving into more of a hot stretch now. After starting the first two to three weeks of this season on a cold streak, they've now won some more of their more recent games. This one by a score of 5-1. to one. Adrian Hauser yet to win a game with the Brewers this year, and Armand Marquez is heading in the correct direction now. He has three wins on the season and got the winning decision in this game. And the Washington Nationals beat the San Francisco Giants again in this game. Uh, this was by a score of 5-1. to one. The Nationals had the lead going into the ninth inning, but patted on some insurance in that top of the ninth, scoring three. And that solidified its win. Tanner Rainey got the win, and Garcia, he got the loss. His first of the season. Take a look at standings now. Starting in the American League East, the New York Yankees on a 10-game winning streak. And they are 19-9, top of the AL East. The Tampa Bay Rays are on a four-game winning streak. They are 16-12, three games back in the division. The Baltimore Orioles have now lost two straight to the Blue Jays, and the Blue Jays now trail them by a half a game, but the Orioles 14-12, four games back of the entire division, and the Blue Jays four and a half games back with a 14-13 record. And the Boston Red Sox won today, but with most of the other teams in the division winning recently, they are still 10 and a half games back, and they have a record of 9-20. To the American League Central, the Chicago White Sox are 18-10, and 10, and they still lead the division despite being on a three-game losing streak, and it seems that every team in the division lost their most recent game. The Twins lost today. They're 16-12, and 12, still two games back of the division. The Cleveland Indians lost today. They're 15-14, and 14, three and a half games back. The Kansas City Royals lost today. They're on a seven-game losing streak now. They are 9-17, eight games back of the division. And the Detroit Tigers on a six-game losing streak. They are 6-21, and 11 and a half games back of the AL Central lead. And the American League West, this division, still condensed, still tight, still a close race. The Houston Astros lost today to the Oakland Athletics, who are one of the closer teams trailing them. The Astros are 15-12. and 12. The Athletics trail by a game and a half with a 14-14 and 14 record. The Rangers also a game and a half back, but they are 13 and 13. The Los Angeles Angels are on a three-game winning streak. They won today. They're three games back of the division with a 12 and 15 record. And the Seattle Mariners lost today. They are four games back of the division with a 12 and 17 record. 
Moving to the National League East, the Miami Marlins are 17-10. They lead the division still despite losing today. Then you have the Washington Nationals who are a game back, or excuse me, less than a game back. They're a half game back of the division on a two-game winning streak, and they're 16-10. and They beat the Giants most recently. The Atlanta Braves are 15-14, and three games back of the division, but they're on a six-game winning streak. They've turned it around from the first couple weeks of April, and now they are producing much better in the win column. The Philadelphia Phillies lost today. They are 13-14, and four games back of the division, and the New York Mets are on a five-game slide. Now they are 9-18, and eight games back of the NL East. To the National League Central, the Milwaukee Brewers are 17-10, and and they lead the division still despite losing their last two games. The Chicago Cubs are 16-11. and They won today, and they're a game back of the division. The St. Louis Cardinals are 13-14, and four games back of the division. They beat the Marlins today. The Cincinnati Reds on a two-game winning streak. They are 10-16, and six and a half games back. And mentioned just moments ago, the Pittsburgh Pirates are on a 10-game losing streak. They are 9-18, and and they're eight games back of the division. They're still eight games back because the Brewers lost at the top today. Every other team in the NL Central moved up a game. And to the National League West, the San Diego Padres on a two-game winning streak, and they still lead the division. They are 18-8. and eight. The Los Angeles Dodgers, however, have picked it up this last week, and they've gone from fourth place to now second place, and they trail the Padres by a game and a half. They're on an eight-game winning streak. 17-10 is their record. The San Francisco Giants are 15-12. and 12. They've lost three straight now, most recently to the Nationals, and they are three and a half games back of the division. The Arizona Diamondbacks are 12-15, and 15, six and a half games out. And they're on a five-game losing streak. And the Colorado Rockies have won their last three. They've won seven of their last ten, and they're nine games back of the NL West. No wild card standings being displayed because I got tired of saying they're irrelevant. They're still irrelevant. Don't forget tomorrow during this segment of results and standings updates, you're going to get category leaders, average leaders in both leagues, hit leaders, home run leaders, RBI leaders, earned run average leaders pitcher wins leaders all of that will be coming up tomorrow category leaders in the results and standing segment this segment you're watching right now also if you didn't hear the announcement it's on twitter but starting on sunday may the 3rd major league baseball's virtual network will start broadcasting three games a day instead of just two in an, in an initiative to have every team be featured at least once every week so three games a day instead of two coming up starting sunday may the third but that's all i have for you in this segment i'm nicholas callis these have been your game recaps and standing updates from saturday april the 25th 2020 you've been watching major league baseball's virtual network